14 years ago in Vermont, and they've since uh, moved back to York. He grew up in York, so I believe that was uh, part of the reason. Uh, personally, uh, we have experience with Jason. He did our uh, uh, internet work and uh, set us up for our web, so we introduce uh, Jason at this time. Thanks. Thanks, Paul. All right, thanks, everyone. So, Woods Jazz Design Company. I know some of you are new, may not understand exactly who we are, who we aren't. Um, and this presentation is for you, because you are my sales force. That's the power of BNI, to train you as my sales force and let you understand kind of what we do. We do internet marketing. <clears throat> we do website development. We can do e-commerce websites if you're looking to sell your products online. We do that very well. We do search engine optimization to get your website ranked at the top of the search engines for the search terms your clients are typing in. <clears throat> we do social media marketing, that's using Facebook, Twitter, whatever platform is best for your clients who you're targeting, we can help you be there. We do um, software development. We've worked for the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, uh, a number of engineering companies, Bucard Horn, and uh, around York, the York area, and some high level projects. That's what my father does. Uh, he's the, the gray haired guy right there. <laughs> He's been doing it for a long time. Uh, he's a great database guy. We do inbound marketing. I'm going to explain a little bit more about what that is next. What we don't do, and kind of what Media One PA does, is uh, bulk email, sending out a lot of emails to people you don't necessarily know, uh, banner ads, sponsored search, uh, search uh, retargeting. You know, these are technical terms that they do work, and we've teamed up with a lot of these things with Media One and outbound advertising in general. We just, we don't specialize in that. It's not what we're about. So today, what I want to do is show you how to leverage the internet for your business and exactly what you need to do to do that. So true or false, an internet presence is essential for any business. I think most people will agree, but I didn't know the answer to that question 100%, so I went to the source of all light, power, and knowledge, Google and found that uh, the answer is absolutely true. Entrepreneur says that you need to use the internet. It's incredibly powerful and very cost effective, but it takes time and some skill. It's about creating a community using social media networking, such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and blogging to build rapport with your market. You need to get on the train and do it because your comp competitors are your competitions there. You need to do it too. So we've teamed up with a company, a software company called HubSpot. This allows us to combine all of our social media, all of our internet presence, our website, our blog, and develop and, and get leads for us and for our clients. It's a very powerful tool that allows us to track everything and disseminate our in information out to the internet. And it uses what we call inbound methodology. So you have a stranger, you attract that stranger, they become a visitor to your website. You convert that visitor into a lead. You close that lead into a customer and then you delight that lead and that customer into someone that's going to promote your business for you because you've done such a great job at that. That's inbound, that's what it's all about. We use blogging, keywords, social media, all of these things that you hear about online, that's what we're using to do that. So everybody talks about blogging. What's blogging? Why is it so important? I don't want to blog. I don't have time for that. Well, you need to. You have to create valuable content. You have to answer your customers' questions. You have to answer the questions because what are they doing? When, they, when you have a question, when you say your son has a weird itch on his right ear, what are you doing? You're going to Google. You're asking that question. And where do you want to be? You want to be where your customers are, are asking those questions to answer them, to establish yourself as an authority in your niche. So here's an example. So we created a blog a few months ago, actually uh, not very long ago, about six weeks ago, called The Seven Business Mistakes in Physician Marketing. And uh, now it's ranked number one. If you type that into Google, it's ranked number one. And there's also um, a LinkedIn, because it disseminates my information out to LinkedIn, and it's a uh, number four result. So that's powerful, right? I've created this blog in a few weeks. It's actually ranked on the top of Google. And I'm able to use HubSpot to see that. This is a different example, SEO for medical practices. 
We created a blog called SEO for Medical Practices and why it is important. And so now it's ranking number 10. I just looked, it was 11, now it's at number 10. And it was uh, 100 plus just about a month ago. So that's the power of blogging. You say you don't need to do it, but that's why you do. So we can use these analytic tools to uh, determine how we're doing, how many leads are coming in, how much traffic we're getting. And it's not for every company, it's not the least expensive solution out there, but it works really well for companies that need to generate leads and they need to make an impact online. So you need to connect with your IBO customers and clients, and I just told you why. You have to have an impressive website to attract. You have to understand who they are and where they're hanging out. You have to blog to answer their questions and use social media to connect and engage and then conti continue to delight them with content. It's that simple. Zoinks! <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we, uh, we're going to, to the, uh, the world of the Jetsons, right? That's where we're headed. But the people that, and the businesses that are remaining in the time of the Flintstones, they're the ones that are going to succeed the most because context is imperative uh, to buy permission and equity con to connect with your prospects through hu true hustle and true caring about who your clients are. It's not anymore the way it used to be five years ago where you put an ad out there and, and they're going to come. It's no longer that way. We, this is a great client example. This is Mel. His business has increased in just a few months, 70%. He, had, he quit his full-time job and had to build a 3,000 square foot uh, facility. What's he do? He does wood stabilization. Guys, this again work for anyone. So some client website examples. I'm going fast here because I'm running out of time. Audio Pro, <laughs> this is a, a view of their website if you haven't seen it. Uh, Media Boomtown, Sneak Preview. It hasn't been launched yet. Thanks, Rick. This is Rick's new website. And uh, Rick's wife, uh, McFeely Consulting, we put this up, very startup, very low cost website, but we were able to do it for effectively. Women's Network of York, I put this in there because it's another organization that a lot of uh, women in here belong to. We've been able to really help them out uh, with their website. So thank you all. I really appreciate all the business, I really appreciate all the business that you all send to me. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Some great referrals I'll leave up here. I think we're about out of time, but I can take a uh, question. Maybe. Or Read. <laughs> How do you maintain the, the customers at the top of their search engine? Do you that on a daily basis? Yeah, it's an ongoing process. You have to continue to look at it like they used to do the film book uh, a few years ago. You have to continue year after year to put money into that. Month after month, we continue to build content so that you're uh, remaining at the top and your competitors are, are below you. That's how we do it. So thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you got a lot out of it. Thanks, Jason. Great stuff. Uh, now we know a little bit about more Mike. Uh, Mike and Jason.